Hello queens, I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I created this cut crease but before we step into the video I just want to point out that yes I do have long nails no they do not enable me in any way nor do they intimidate my clients and I keep my hands very clean I just want to point that out because every time that y'all notice I have long nails y'all come in these comments voicing y'all opinions and if you're not paying for these nail appointments don't tell me what I should and shouldn't get but anyways I went ahead and cleaned off my client's face using some witch hazel. Now I'm going in with my Nika K brow pencil and this one is in the shade black brown. Now that both of the brows have been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in from the back and working my way to the front. I like to outline both the brows before filling them in just so I can get them as symmetrical as possible. To fill in the front of her eyebrows, I'm going in with another Nika K brow pencil. This one is in the shade light brown. I like to use a lighter shade at the front just because it'll make it fade easier into the back. And I love for the brows to have a nice ombre effect, which is also why I like to brush through the brows as I go. Just to ensure that everything is nice and blended. Before I clean up her brows, I'm going to be going in with this clear IMV brush on eyelash glue and I'm just going to brush a good amount of this through her eyebrows just to lay the hairs down in place. I kind of use this as an eyebrow gel so it just molds everything down and to press them in place, I'm just using the spoolie end of my eyebrow pencil. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with these two different concealers. They're from RK by Kiss and Nika K. They're in the shades Toast and 07. And first, I'm going in with the Nika K concealer, which was in the shade 07. And I'm going to be using this to clean up underneath her arch and most of the way on the bottom of her eyebrows.
Once I've created a clean line underneath her brows, I'm going to go ahead and buff that concealer out. Then for the remainder of the way, on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with that RK by Kiss concealer, which was in the shade Toast. And I did mix it with a little bit of this Nika K concealer just to lighten it up a little bit more and to fit my client's skin tone better. As y'all can see, we have one very clean eyebrow, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to go ahead and buff this concealer out. And once it's all blended, I'm just going to be repeating the process on the other eyebrow. Now that both the brows have been clean, I'm going to be going in with my Derma Blend Translucent Powder. And I'm just pressing this throughout the front of her brows to lighten them up. And I'm also going to be tapping it on top of some of the concealer to set it in place. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this is in the shade White. I applied about a nickel size amount onto her eyes, and now I'm just buffing this throughout her lids. Since I will be doing what I like to call an elongated cut crease, I'm going to be dragging this concealer all the way out to the edge of her eyebrow, so all the way out to the tail.
To start this eyeshadow look off, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Light to Medium. And I'm taking the sculpting shade and I'm using it as a transition shade. And I'm just applying this color in the shape that I would want my cut crease to be. So I'm taking it up towards the front of her eyebrow and then I'm also extending it to the tail of her eyebrow as well. And to press this eyeshadow on, I'm using this Wet n Wild type of blending brush. Next, I'm going in with my Technic The Heat Is On palette and I'm taking that cool brown shade next to the black and I'm going to be applying this right in the center of the transition shade that we applied and like I said, each time you apply these colors, you want to make sure you apply them in the shape that you will be cutting the crease. So I'm going to take this up towards the front of her eyebrow and also extend it to the tail. After I have the second color I pressed on, I like to go back in with the transition shade that we use just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. So you will see me alternating between those two brushes. Once both of your transition shades have been applied, it should look something like this. This is when you have a nice even blend. Now I'm just going to begin cutting the crease. And to cut the crease, I'm using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade White. And this flat synthetic brush, I got this from the Dollar Tree, y'all. I mentioned this in another one of my client's tutorials. But I'm just going to be sketching out my shape and then... Filling it all in with concealer. I'm just going to let y'all watch this process because it is very tedious and you want to make sure you get it as neat as possible. Once I'm satisfied with my shape, I'm going to go ahead and buff the concealer out. And when it's all blended, I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side and try to get them as even as possible.
this is the outcome of both the cut creases you shouldn't move on unless you get them as even as possible now i'm going in with my be perfect carnival xl palette and i'm just going to be using this to fill in her cut crease first i'm going in with this white eyeshadow and i'm just packing this in the inner corner using this elf eyeshadow brush Next, I'm going in with the shade Ecstasy, which is like this lime green shade. And I'm taking that same elf eyeshadow brush and I'm just pressing this right behind the white. Now I'm going in with the shade The Hype, which is like this rich dark green eyeshadow. And I'm going to be pressing this right behind that neon green that we used. And to press it on, I'm using this LA Colors eyeshadow brush. I got this from the dollar store a long time ago, but it's one of my favorite brushes to use. As you go in and build up each of these colors, you're going to be going back in with the shade that you used prior to each one. So after I pack this color on, I'm going back in with that neon green shade and I'm just reapplying it to her leads. Next, I'm going in with the shade Nuke, which is like this emerald green color, and I'm just going to be pressing this at the end of her cut crease, and once I have it all pressed on, I'm going to be going back in with that shade that we used prior to this one, and I'm reapplying it. I'm making sure when I apply these shades that I leave a little gap at the top end of her cut crease because I will be doing an accent line so I want to make sure that's clean. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and I'm just going to use this to draw a thin line across her eyes and I'm going to be doing a faded out wing. Now that both of her eyes have been lined, I'm going to be taking some black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and I'm just applying this at the end of her liner and I'm applying it in the shape of a wing. Next, I'm going in with my Fenty White Liquid Liner and I'm using this to draw an accent line at the edge of her cut crease. I went ahead and did the other side off camera, so this is the outcome of that. Now I'm going to be going in with these crystals. These were sent to me from Color Me Happy. You can find them on Instagram. And I'm just going to be applying a few of these above her cut crease. So I'm taking my lash glue, as you can see, and I'm just dotting it in place. Then I'm using the glue applicator to apply the rhinestones on top of the dots.
once all of the crystals have been applied that will complete her eye look so we will be moving on to the face i went ahead and cleaned and moisturized her face off camera now i'm going in with my elf matte poreless putty primer and i'm just applying this all over her face using my damp real technique sponge Now for a little extra insurance, I'm going to be going in with my Calamine Lotion and I'm focusing this in her T-zone. I applied a very thin amount onto her face using this flat synthetic brush. Now I'm going to be going back in with my Real Technique sponge and I'm using it to press it into her skin. For her foundations, I'm going to be going in with these two Fit Me foundations in the shades Nutmeg and Spicy Brown. First, I'm taking the shade Nutmeg because it's darker and I'm applying this to the outer edge of her face. Now, I'm going in with the shade Spicy Brown and I'm just going to be applying this to the inner portions of her face. To press both of these foundations in place, I'm going to be going in with my Dense Foundation Brush and just tapping it all together as y'all can see it's going to create the perfect shade for her skin tone and for all of you that are probably be in my comments saying that this is a lot of makeup this is definitely not an everyday look this is you know a special occasion type of glam so if i want to get a little heavy handed i can get a little heavy handed the outcome came out flawless so i'm really not trying to hear all of that To highlight her face, I'm going to be going back in with my Nika K Concealer and this is in the shade 07. To blend out the concealer, I'm going to be going back in with that brush that I used to blend out her foundation. This will just ensure that everything is as blended and flawless as it can be. I'm taking whatever excess concealer I have left on my brush and I'm using it to clean up the edge of her eyeshadow.
To blend out the concealer under her eyes, I'm going back in with my damp Real Technique sponge. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder and this one is in the shade Golden Caramel. I'm going on top of that Fit Me Press Powder with my Morphe Loose Powder and this one is in the shade Banana. To bronze up her face, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Press Powder and this one is in the shade Black Coffee. I'm going in with another Black Radiance Press Powder. I believe this one is in the shade Honey Glow and I'm using this to set the remaining areas of her face. I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner Pencil and I'm using this to line her waterline. I only took it about halfway through. Now I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm just applying this to her lower lash line and I'm stopping in the same spot that I stopped on her waterline. I'm going back in with that foundation brush and I'm using it to press in all of the powder. Now I'm just going to spray her face in place using some set and spray. I'm going in with some lashes. These are some big blinks. I went ahead and cut them to fit her eyes off camera and now I'm just applying them to her lash line. I'm going in with this highlighter from my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette and I'm just gonna be using this to highlight her face. Last but not least, it's time to do her lips. I went ahead and cleaned them up. So now I'm going in with my LA Colors. Well, actually, this is my Wet n Wild Brown Eyeliner Pencil. And I'm using this to outline her lips.
I'm gonna be going in the center of her lips with this Zerura liquid lipstick and it's in the shade number 39 and I'm also gonna be going on top of it with this lip gloss from the brand OZ Lab and I believe it's in the shade number one now I'm gonna have her press her lips together to help me blend this combination out and once that's all complete I'm gonna go back in with that liner and I'm gonna use it to reline her lips and once that's finished we'll be getting into the grand reveal so I'm gonna let y'all watch Okay, you ready to see? Yes. I'm scared. Girl! <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> I love it. Dang, this is cute. Yeah, girl, you got the works. Let me find somewhere to go. Period. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, queens. This is the end of the video. As y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I hope you all enjoyed. Y'all already know I love this look, okay? It's as dramatic and extra as it can get. And if y'all don't know anything else about the queen, it's that I'm a little dramatic and a little extra. So, I love it. If you love it too, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. This is your daily reminder. Instagram is always in the know so if you would like to be in a know make sure you click that link in the description box bye bye queens